Did you know you can now live stream VR games directly from your Quest? No phone, no PC needed. Here's exactly how to set it up. Check our last video for all the details on what just launched. First, install and open the Live Hub Alpha app from the Quest Store. Input your birthday and it'll log you in with your Meta account automatically. Now link your YouTube or Twitch account. This opens a browser in your headset where you'll log into your streaming platform and allow permission for LibHub to send your stream to it. There's also a manual RTMP option. This is for platforms that give you a custom stream URL. For TikTok, unfortunately, you usually need to be part of a creator agency to get a stream key for the RTMP option. So unless you have that, YouTube, Twitch, or other platforms that provide that for you are gonna be your best options. This is a TikTok limitation, and maybe one day they'll open up access. There are two ways to stream, live camera streaming that requires a subscription, but gives you all the cinematic angles, or basic headset streaming that's free and it's just your normal view. First up, live camera streaming, where you get all of those custom angles. Ooh. Live camera streaming does require a subscription. You get a seven day free trial, then it's 99 cents a month for your first three months. That's a limited time offer that ends December 31st, so grab it while you can. Open the live camera in a supported game like Gorilla Tag. At the top of the tablet, switch to the streaming tab. You'll see a pairing code on the tablet. Tap the Live Hub icon on the tablet to automatically open the Live Hub app, assuming you have it installed already. Go to your games, then pair game and enter the code that appears on the tablet. Your camera should now be linked. You should now be able to hit go live on the tablet and you're now streaming with full camera control. Switch between selfie, third person, first person, all while streaming live. Now for headset streaming, the free option. On the streaming page, click start streaming next to go live with headset camera, then select entire view. Just note that by sharing your entire headset view, your stream sees everything. Be careful about navigating to pages with passwords, messages, or anything that you don't want public. If you're streaming to YouTube, you might also need to click go live in YouTube Studio. It's good to double check just in case. For more help guides and troubleshooting, make sure you check the link in our bio or join our Discord at discord.gg live. Whee. And leave us a review, please. Bye.